My name is Todd Corner. I'm, I'm glad to be here tonight. Um, so I'm a community planner at an organization called Southwest Region Planning Commission. Uh, my vision for tw uh, 2040, a technology that exists today is walking. The technology that exists today is bicycling. Um, and in my vision for 2040, that's a much more common form of transportation. Planting more trees, especially in um, more urbanized areas. Dory Drachman, and I am on the board of the Monadnock Sustainability Hub. By 2040, I think we will have learned some of these lessons that we need each other, we need the rest of the natural world, and we will need to take care of each other. And by other, I mean both other people and other beings and so that we will be hopefully kinder to each other um, i see lots of solar and wind in 2040 i think i see a much more robust agriculture local agricultural com uh, economy i think what we have now is really quite exciting i have to comment ele on electric vehicles i've had mine for almost two years and i can't imagine driving a combustion engine vehicle again i, I certainly wouldn't buy one so in 2040, I am relieved to say that countries across the globe realize the extractive paradigm that drove the endless promotion of growth and economic development was not sustainable. Leaders around the globe recognized this when the world economy came to a grinding halt during the great 2020 pandemic. We realized that we, if, we, if we are to sustain life on the planet, we must change and that it was possible to change. It was the voice of the youth and visionaries of all ages that gave rise to this movement. The great pandemic created a fundamental shift in people's awareness across the globe that our way of life was extremely fragile. So moving forward, I think um, the vegetable market farmers out there and the dairy farmers are some of the hardest working people that I know and their work is tremendously valuable. I'll start by saying that. And I think that we need to be striving for agricultural systems that generally are more perennial in nature. Um, I think we need more agroforestry in 2040, and we need to start this now. I think the Monadnock region needs more perennial systems of agriculture. Our vision is that our communities are gonna respond with this global surge of mutual aid, community organizing, and with people like like you and me right building up our skills together and so that in 2040 our world is now going to be made up of people-centered cooperative organizations and businesses and they're going to be working together for common in areas of common interest like shared community projects which we can already see happening in the monadnock region right that's already manifested through monadnock food co-op and the connection it has with local farmers etc I think that we will be able to see a different world in, in 2040 than, we, than we're living in 2020 at this point. Um, I see a lot of activism. Um, I love working with young people uh, because clearly, as we saw in the film, um, you know, we are borrowing from their, their futures. And so I think it's very important that we make more platforms for young people to be heard and to be active participants in uh, coming up with some of the solutions. So that's my vision and the, the future is bright.